Hey guys, and welcome back to another video with me. Uh, today we are going to talk about sound dampeners for your stepper motors. So these are little pieces of metal with rubber that you place between the stepper motor and the metal frame. So that way when the stepper motor has a vibration, the rubber stops that vibration from going through the frame, dampening the sound of the, of the printing process. Um, I've installed these on all four of my printers. Uh, this will be the fourth printer. Um, we're going back to that Ender 3 that was, um, oh, how do I want to put it, customized that we did with the hot end change. Um, it was missing its x-axis dampener. Uh, it never had one. It had one down on the y, um, but we didn't have one on the x. So that's why we're doing this video. It's just a short one. Um, I think maybe seven minutes long, eight minutes, I don't know. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the install, and I'll see you after it's done. Hi everybody, so as I said, we're back here working on this Ender 3. Um, if you saw the video where I did the hot end replacement on this one, I said I, there was no sound dampener on this on this one particular motor. Um, I do rec recommend putting one on your X and your Y axis. That way um, <coughs> your printer does have a little bit of quietness. Some people argue the dampeners don't work. The dampeners are pretty simple. Two metal pieces with rubber in there to kind of stop the vibration against the machine. These are relatively easy to install. That's what we're going to do right now. So first of all, what do you always do? Unplug your power from your printer. Mine's already unplugged because we are going to disconnect the power from the stepper motor. So I want to make sure you don't want to get electrocuted and you don't want to damage the device. So there's four screws right here. We're just going to get these out real quick so that we can put that stamp, that stepper in here. So we're going to get these guys off and we're going to get the stepper motor exposed. Um, don't take your, uh, um, oh, what am I looking for? Don't take the sensor um, out of your block. You don't need to recalibrate that. It shouldn't be any problem. Now, some of your Ender 3s come with this gear inside. It's a pressed on gear. We're gonna have to replace that with a Allen wrenched one. I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. Once I get this guy off of here and get these screws out, four screws out of the front, now be careful, because when you take that four screw out, stepper motor is going to come free. Right now all it's holding my stepper motor up there is the belt. So I'm going to make sure I unplug the power from that. I'm going to take this out and leave my belt right where it is. You can see the stepper motor. This is a pressed on gear. You can't just pull that off. You have to use a puller. I'll be right back with the puller and we're going to take that off and we're going to get this uh, guy moving forward. And I'll also show you what, a, um, what gear I'm replacing it with. Okay, so here's the gear puller. Pretty simple little tool, does a good job. Um, we'll just get that off, off there. Here's what I'm replacing it with. So you can see here it's got two, or this one may only have two Allen wrench sets that will find the correct location, we'll tighten those up, and that'll put that on the stepper motor. So with the puller, all you gotta do, is slide that guy in there into the groove, and we'll take this guy, get him centered on the shaft. This puller I have was a little expensive. Uh, the, the actual gears, I think I spent like $7 for 10 of them. So it wasn't bad. Banggood.com, Amazon.com are always good. So and all you gotta do is just twist. And it won't damage your, the motor, it won't damage the rod. And it's just pulling that pulley up off the, up off the spindle. Just like that. So now we've got that gone. It's good and clear. And what will happen is we'll get this guy and I'll have to undo those, but he'll slide right in. We'll put him in, get him in the belt, and that'll make that ready to go for us. So we're ready to start moving forward with the dampener. Um, so what you gotta do with the dampener, first thing we gotta do is make sure we got it the right direction. And then we'll take two, I can't remember if these are M2s or M3s, and we'll screw this on here and then we'll mount this back into place and we'll get the belt on, get that aligned and we'll put the two bolts back in to put the other carriage and the stepper sensor back on. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got everything put back together. You can see I got the dampener nice and squished in there. Um, the brackets on there, the new pulley is up in there. 
and it is mounted. I made sure when I did this that I got my belt centered so I'm not creating any rub on the belt or damage or, or additional sound because that's the whole point of the dampener. You'll see here on the front, I've only got two of the bolts back in here and here. I did not put bolts back in here because there's nowhere for them to go with the dampener. So that's kind of one of the things that happens here is you've got two bolts into this, two bolts into this, and it's all put back together and nicely um, mounted. Now you can see back here, I've also put one on my other axis. Now the trick with this one is, again, you see I had to replace the pulley, the dampener's in there, but the problem is this, mount for the stepper. Uh, you've got to make sure you probably go on Thingiverse, there's tons of these mounts out for the inner three. You're going to have to move this forward a little bit because if you don't, when you move this back, the plate is going to smack right into that and throw off your print. So you got to move this a little bit forward so the sensor will stop it from hitting. Um, that's the only trick with that axis. You don't need to do it up here. It's not really a problem because you're putting the sensor right back where it was. Um, so it doesn't impact up here at all. Um, now, on this Ender 3, you can see I put the dampener on the stepper motor. Does it really do much for you? No. Um, that's why I've not done it on here and I've not done it on my CR10. Um, I just didn't feel like it was needed. So that was just kind of one of the things that I want to make sure I mention. Um, a lot of times these step dampeners come in kits of four. I've never done one to the Z-axis, um, honestly, because it connects into the frame at two different places. So you would almost need two dampeners technically to make that not have sound. So as far as your dampeners, it's a pretty, inst pretty easy installation. Make sure you get your power plugs back in and everything works. I've already tested this one and everything's working good. Um, I'm actually gonna get started printing on some stuff uh, here later today with it. So I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so it's a really easy project to put those on for the two, the X and the Y axis. Um, of course, with this video, it was just my X axis that was missing one. Um, I didn't need to put one on the Y, but one of the key things with the Y, like I said, you need to reprint, you need to print that uh, stepper uh, sensor mount so you can move it forward a little bit. You're gonna lose a little printing space with this but you don't want your table bumping up on it and destroying all your prints. So I do recommend that. Um, I can even probably look around and see if I can find a link for it and put it in the, in the description. But either that or you're gonna have to cut your underplate so it fits. I don't recommend doing that because it's really easy to bend it and get damaged onto your printer. Um, as you saw, the one Ender 3 that is the one that I bought and put together, it has a step dampener on the extruder. You don't have to do it. It, it really didn't buy me anything. I didn't do it to my CR10 or this one. It's the same process, just like I said, make sure you take your power off and unplug your motors and make sure you do it safe. I appreciate you guys watching the video today. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff upcoming from the channel, and we'll see you next time.